well, once they came in and told us that, um, that it was a fracture and not a bone infection, obviously our minds went, again, we, we talked about this, I think, in our mm -hmm. police interviews, of, uh, is how, how did mm -hmm. this happen? And then they mentioned to us, you know, that they have to bring in DCFS because they're mandatory reporters. And I understand. We both understand that. I mean, you were a mandatory reporter in your job. And I wasn't. I knew. was a mandatory reporter so, as a pastor. And so yeah. I understood the, I understood, you know, kind of the following, following the rules. And I'm, I'm, we're rule followers, so we're great with that. And I'm like, they're just going to realize that we're good. And I think I told that to you, you know, I said, hey. They're going to realize that we're good parents. They're going to realize that we brought our daughter to the hospital to help her. Mm -hmm. It's naive, but I thought that'd be enough, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I thought we'd just tell what we knew and go I, I mean go home. Now it sounds silly knowing how everything works, but at the time, that's what I thought. It didn't occur to you that, you know, maybe, you know, you needed to consult with somebody or, or um, it didn't occur to you that you just assume that they had your best interest. And that's really what they represented to you too, didn't they? Um, that for the most part, it was that yeah. You just want to find out what's going on and help your daughter. Right. I mean, we've both been raised and still believe, for the most part, that police are here to help us and they're here to protect the community. And uh, we've never had an interaction with police ever before that was bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're pri privileged. We're in privileged that in that way, of course. Um, but yeah, we were both raised in great homes and never had a bad experience with police. I mean, they were always there to help. Mm -hmm. And so I think that was kind of the back, the background and the foundation going into this. Was there any point during any of this interviews where that changed in your mind? I wouldn't say during the interviews that changed in my mind. Okay. The first one or the second one, it was... And they represented to you that you just really needed to come up with something for an explanation to satisfy the doctor and to... Um, so yeah. those tests would start. That would stop. That was really important yeah. to you, wasn't it? That yeah. they stopped. Well, and they had a hard time. And obviously, Olivia was very young. They had a hard time getting her IV in originally. They tried, you know, hands, and they, they couldn't do her legs because of the fact that they that it was swollen. Um, so they had to put the IV in her head, and that was that was really hard for me. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think when they brought that up, it was like, I, I don't want that. I don't want that to ever. Well, and for the whole previous day, you'd been watching them try to do yeah. tests and the I think night I... before. You had held her during the various tests that were done. So, uh, And he was a little stronger than me in that, so a lot of those I didn't watch. So he mm -hmm. had been and I, traumatized, I would... might not be the right word, but... I helped the so, nurses with yeah. her, you know... Like I would hold her while they would try to help, you know, get, you know, take tests or take blood or, you know, I would, I was right by her the entire time, again, being a worried dad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was, when they brought that up, that was kind of something that came to my mind. Like, let's not, you know, let's get, right. not do tests that don't need to be yeah. done. So throughout those interviews, you're thinking, they're really partnering with us, DCFS, police, Dr. Petrak, yeah. trying to... Yeah. Yeah, we didn't see Dr. Petrak as against us ever uh, until... I think later. that was something that probably was misrepresented to us. Yeah, I would agree. Was that... Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of the right word. The Tell me about your interaction with her. When did you, when did you see her in this process? Um, well, we were told that she was coming and that she was who they call in situations with possible bone or blood disorders. That's what we were, I remember being told. Do you remember that? Okay. Um, so you so we didn't even know that she was a uh, part of 
the investigation at the time. Okay. We thought, oh, the, they said this is who we call in this kind of situation. You thought you were consulting with a specialist. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That it was going to help our daughter. Yep. And so um, then she came and just asked us like health history mm -hmm. questions. Mm -hmm. And um, then she did a physical examination of our daughter. Well, and when the pediatric resource center comes in the room, oh, that's a that was, good. To me, that's a good sounding organization. <laughs> yes. So as you know, as a young dad and a new dad, mm -hmm. the pediatric resource centers, oh, they're you know, they're here to help and they're a resource. <laughs> and they did give us a packet on who they are, but again, we did I not think I, we didn't read it because we didn't yeah. realize I think I went back and read it after we came yeah. home and I was like, Oh my if gosh, we had if read we had this. read through this, maybe we I don't what know. did you learn from reading it that would that she, put off a few alarm bells for you? I think that it oh, it was more clear that it that she was looking for child abuse rather than okay, and she never told you that no. you never had that representation that this is somebody that's kind of on the other side. No, she right. brought um, I don't know the right, I don't like know her job title. Or... Yeah, I don't think she was an assistant. I think she had a more significant role yeah, than yeah. that, but. She came with her to the or sh or before her or something. She was with her, and she gave that she's the one that gave us the information, and she mm -hmm. explained some people, some children we work with have been victims of crimes, and so we have to give you this information. And we were okay. like, well, we know our daughter wasn't a victim of a crime, right, so we right, don't right. need it. So that was just yeah. Um, I understand in a way why they are secretive, uh, evasive, or yeah. Um. You think maybe people would be less forthcoming or they'd have right. a harder time if, right. if they said, hey, we're here because we want you to understand we're part of a team that yeah. might be trying to if, figure out if you yeah. abuse If she walked in the room and said, I'm a child abuse pediatrician and we're looking at you, then people are going to clam up, right? And they're going to call this guy. Yeah. And I'd never, yeah. I'd never had an attorney in my life. And so yeah. that was never even a thought to me. Right.